welcome back guys this is Vishu from Savage Camp and in this video I'm going to talk about my experience with interviewing for Meta or Facebook for systems engineer uh, IC5 or IC6 which is like the level point in uh, Google or Amazon Facebook has IC so uh, again I'll break this down uh, in the similar format like I did for Amazon of Google uh, what we'll do is like how I uh, came to know about this role then we'll talk about the details about the role the interview preparation interview process and then we will go over the tips and tricks and the result so let's get started and I will talk to you more about how I found this role so let's talk about how I found this role so like many of the other roles a recruiter reached out to me on LinkedIn and this has been going on for a while now because there is a big shortage in tech right now and that's why a lot of recruiters are cold DMing everyone on LinkedIn who has like a experience level that they want so some recruiter reached out to me uh, I saw that his email address was at the rate facebook.fb.com so I was like okay he actually works at Facebook and he told me about this role and he wanted me to like give him a call to explain so he can explain me the role so I gave him the call and we discussed about the role and what he is actually looking for so I'll talk about the role more in detail in the next section but the way I found out about this is basically a recruiter reached out to me I didn't apply for any of these roles so let's talk about this role so on the first call what the recruiter said was this was mostly an internal facing role which means that I won't be working on the Facebook products uh, that are out for the customers but I would be working for uh, people who are working inside uh, the Facebook network so I was going to write scripts and do automation kind of stuff mostly for people in the current infrastructure so I'll be writing scripts to look for the room wizards or the virtual conference rooms if they are working properly if they're not working properly create a ticket so they were actually looking for people who could write automation for like internal stuff and that was more of what this role was about and I did ask them what's like the ideal candidate for them and they said someone who has a good knowledge with Linux systems and also knows about scripting so not just like a sysadmin role but also scripting role because you won't be doing system engineering you will be doing more like automation and your most uh, most of the focus would be on writing scripts and also they wanted someone who had experience in programming so this is the basic uh, role uh, I did ask the people who interviewed me and all of them gave the same answer which is like you'll be monitoring the internal system of Facebook and you'll be writing scripts to improve the process and monitoring for the internal Facebook network so that's it for this section guys in the next section I will give you some details on how I prepared for this interview so how did I actually prepare for this interview so like any other interview the first round was a coding round so I didn't talk to any other recruiter except the one who reached out to me until the coding round was completed once the coding round was completed they assigned me another recruiter who was going to be my point of contact for the remaining of the interview process and this is basically how Google also did that they had an initial uh, recruiter who reached out who reached out and then they had another recruiter who takes you through the interview process and the scheduling and gives you tips and tricks so the first one was basically coding interview that I gave uh, it was kind of I wouldn't say it was difficult I would rate it like 6 out of 10 when it comes to difficult difficulty because it was something that I could do in like 30 minutes he asked two questions 15 minutes each and then 15 minutes of just like talking so once I completed that uh, I got assigned a recruiter who could reach out like who would schedule stuff for me and the recruiter actually gave me a document which had all the details about the interview like what they're looking for and what they're going to ask what the rounds would be like and all of those things so uh, that document basically gives all the details that you need and this would be given once you pass the coding round so you don't have to do a lot of things on your own the document is very self-explanatory uh, again I cannot disclose that document because I signed the NDA but basically 
uh, they'll give you a lot of uh, resources for system design and Linux. So there is a section for networking. Uh, it was like once you complete the round one, you get five rounds and you basically are preparing for the rest for uh, rest five rounds that will be in like a day. The one that I had to spend most time on was learning about Linux because this wasn't just like a Linux uh, interview question like tell me what is the difference between Samba and NFS or uh, how what what how do you kill a process or how do you find the top usage to, the process using the top uh, memory and CPU like not those questions it was very thorough and very in-depth and it was given in the document too that they are going to ask kernel level questions so it wasn't like how do you find the PID of a process it was like tell me how the process actually starts from the beginning like what calls go to the kernel what does the kernel do and um, stuff like that so in detail not just like overview so that is one thing that I focus the most on and then the system design one system design they give some good resources I'll share that resource I'll share those resources in the description because they are public knowledge and um, I had to spend a lot of time understanding the Linux kernel. Uh, it actually helped me quite a lot to understand how everything works under the shell. But this is not an easy interview. They went in very details. It was very thorough. Uh, the 45 minutes was fully technical. There was no like uh, spending time talking bullshit, anything like that. It was all uh, pretty intense. So. Um, that's how I actually prepared from the documents. I'll try to share the public resources in the des description so you guys can have a look. But that is it for this section and in the next section I will go over the interview process. So let's talk about the interview process. So the first round was basically the coding round. The coding round lasted 45 minutes, 5 minutes of introduction. 30 minutes of program solving and then 10 minutes of me asking them any questions about the role and all. So that was very good. Uh, I was able to do both the programs uh, within 30 minutes. So we had quite a lot of time to chit chat and I asked them more about like the role, what they expect and all and I got the same answer from everyone. Basically they are looking for someone with Linux knowledge and automation knowledge, someone who can write uh, scripts. So that was the first round. Once I completed that, I got the another recruiter assigned who scheduled all the five rounds, uh, two or three weeks from them, uh, from that time. And it was basically like you can do three rounds in a day, no, two rounds in a, in a week and then three rounds in the next week, or you can get it done all in the same day. I selected the later one where I could just sit in one day and finish it off rather than giving two rounds and then waiting another like six days to give the remaining three that's just a personal preference but again like amazon it takes a toll on you uh facebook was a little better because they gave me like 30 minute rest after each interview so the whole process was like 9 to 5 so it was like basically 9 a.m to 5 p.m but with every interview uh it was like 45 minutes interview and then 30 minutes break and only in between I think third between fourth third fourth and fifth round there was like a half an hour break uh, but after that um, it was pretty intense so I would recommend if you want you can do it like week by week that would be much more easier on you so the first round was the coding round then I had the five rounds in a day uh, out of which the first one was behavioral again the star method make sure you understand the star method and whenever they give you any questions you can basically tell them can I have a minute to think about this and once you think about it then you can go over in the star format I will link the Dan Kreuter star method in the description again so you can go through the star method uh, the second round was I think system design so no the second round was actually Linux one so there's always someone shadowing the interview so there would be one guy who would be taking the interview the second guy would be shadowing the interviewer and you basically uh, keep answering them and they keep taking notes so they let you have the flow for like five ten minutes as long as you want to talk about it so the linux interview was very thorough because i was notified about that that they want like system uh, kernel level understanding so it was very difficult i think i did good i think i would give myself like 6.5 out of 10 because the guy went in like all the system calls which i was not prepared for 
so that was the first round then i had system design so the, no the first round was behavioral where they asked about the star method tell me about the time then the linux interview then there was the uh, system design interview again system design is pretty good because there is no right answer you basically uh, that's what the guy was also telling me that he has seen he asked the same question to a lot of people and he had seen everyone design it in a different way so there is no correct answer the only problem is they'll keep asking you if this is the optimal solution and if you say yes they are going to pinpoint some of the errors in your design so keep uh, make sure you study all the system design properly because it's not going to be a very easy question it's going to be something that they would make up like it won't be design facebook or design messenger design instagram those are the things that you will see on uh, youtube but this would be like a custom application that they would ask you to design so study uh, well for the system design and the linux inter uh, interviews so first one was behavioral then i had the linux one then system design then i had the coding round uh, i was able to do three i think two or two out of three questions out of the coding round mostly because we ran out of time um it was fine like i wouldn't say that i wrote the optimal one but they actually told me in the beginning itself that they want a solution and then we can try to make it optimal so i got like two out of three the third one we could not finish it because like we were in a hurry uh this actually took the 15 minute break that i had but uh whatever like i was so done what uh so done with all of the interviews like i wanted to get it over with as soon as possible so once i did the coding round the last one was networking and i was told by the recruiter that this role is mainly focused on automation and linux so the networking round is just so you know the basics of networks and all the questions in the networking interview were the basic questions so um it was pretty good but it was again in detail like if they ask you what is tcp you cannot just like explain it it's a connection oriented uh, protocol you have to explain each and every step in a tcp communication so all the questions that they were asking they wanted like in depth thorough answers not just like an overview or a brief idea about that particular question so once that was completed um they took like what i think 7 to 10 days business days to get a result but um the interview was fine again if you have the time uh, just do it in two weeks mostly because the five rounds can be quite intense because it's not an easy interview they will grill you and they will ask you all the details and you can't just like skip over stuff so uh if i had to go back i would probably do it in two weeks knowing that it would be so uh thorough and so difficult because it's not just like sitting there and answering it's more about thinking about all these scenarios and thinking about all the answers that actually mentally drains you like you are exhausted by the end of the time at 5 pm i was just like i just wanted to chill so i went down and i just sat by the river walk i was just like chilling for like 30 40 minutes solid because it was so intense but again it's a it's a good stress test it's uh if you can handle stress it's pretty good so if i had to go back i would do it in two rounds but it's totally up to you if you think you can handle all the five rounds in a day you should do it and get over with it so that's it for the interview process i'll give you some tips and tricks in the next uh section so now comes the tips and tricks section So again I'm going to put everything in the description all the links that I have that are public knowledge I would give all of them Actually Facebook has their career page and in that career page there are good lessons I actually got to understand a lot of algorithmic stuff because they have pretty good lessons over there which shows we are some animation so I would recommend you uh, sign up for their meta careers and in that they have an university where actually you can learn about all these questions and the interview process the other thing is you get a facebook buddy so once you pass the first round you get an interview scheduling uh form in the meta careers page and over there you can select any buddy that you want and you can talk to them like once a week and you can ask them questions about working at meta and all uh the recruiter was very friendly she explained all those things she also mentioned that once you get in you don't have to stay in this role 
you will go through a boot camp where you will meet a lot of other people and if if you like someone who's working on like whatsapp you can actually talk to their manager and be like hey i was hired for this role but i'm more interested in this role um do you think i can move into this role and uh she said that they are very they encourage internal moves and a lot of people are always moving within teams so it's a good practice to just like once you get in like see other roles that are available and you can talk to the managers over there so i don't know how true that is but like she was very confident about it and i did see that in the meta careers page that uh, you can take a buddy from anywhere and you can talk to them and uh, get to know about their role their team and the work culture so definitely go through their university because it has quite a lot of good resources uh, the system design you can find a couple of good youtube channels but there is a gorke system or something like that i link it down in the description uh the linux one you have to go over the kernel stuff this is not going to be an easy linux interview they are going to go over very detailed uh like system admin stuff so i would recommend like reading some book on kernel or linux kernel or actually understanding how everything works under the hood like how the kernel executes all the commands that comes to it uh the different kinds of interrupts the different kinds of kill signals what it does and all of those details the networking one was very basic but but again it wasn't something that you can just brush apart like you need to know uh the details of it you need to go into each and every like if they ask you what is a packet you can't just say packet is something that carries information from source to des- destination uh you basically have to divide the packet into all its uh frames and what does the frame contains and what is the header what is the mac address in there what is the source and destination ip what changes does the mac uh, source mac changes does the destination mac changes you have to explain all of those things so uh it's very detailed it's very thorough so you need to know what you're talking about uh system design was the one that i think i struggled in uh and i think that's all i have for the tips and tricks uh basically read through the document the recruiter will send you that will have everything you need to know all the interviews were very based on uh the document that i was given so i think that is it for this section and in the last section i will cover the result welcome back guys so uh this is the last section the result section of the interview and sadly i could not pass this interview but i also got like mixed signals um again i had already signed for this company i was waiting for the result um i got a ping from the recruiter itself the first recruiter who uh like uh, reached out to me he basically said that uh they are waiting for one guy to finish his review but the four reviews they got are pretty good and it's looking very positive and i just wanted to let you know but then uh, by the last time the recruiter the recruiter that was assigned to me for the interview scheduling and all she basically said that they decided to move on with some other candidate and um uh, like if there's anything else i need to know i can she'll be back in a week from vacation so she can answer those questions again i asked them which inter- which like which round did i fail in and they didn't say anything so i think they don't disclose those reviews but uh whatever it is like it was kind of a good experience i got to learn a lot of things and i i actually enjoyed the interview process it, it was challenging but it was also something that helped me grow and i got to learn a lot of new things it was stressful but again it's it's just life like it's you work in infrastructure you work in it it's going to be stressful so i think that is it for this video guys i hope you guys found this uh like helpful i'll share all the resources in the description and like comment and subscribe i'll be putting more and more videos on uh being an infrastructure engineer and the tips and tricks to like fast track your uh, career in infrastructure and how to actually start looking for infrastructure jobs and all of those things so i'll see you guys in the next video